Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we're showcasing Onshape's brand new feature that lets you convert conic surfaces into fully editable sheet metal parts. To show it off, we're modeling a functional dust remover. I will be modeling this item using Onshape, which is the best cloud-native CAD and PDM solution on the market. Let's get started. First, navigate to cad.onshape.com and enter in your login details. Remember, there are no installs in waiting, simply just open Onshape in your browser. Now, let's create a new document. Press on the blue Create button and select Document. Let's name ours Stainless Steel Dust Remover. Once you have entered into the document, the first step is creating variables that are commonly used. To do this, open the Variable Studio on the right. Now let's create a few variables. Let's create our bottom outer diameter, bottom inner diameter, metal thickness, and upper outer diameter. Now that these variables are set and have values, we can start catting. Start with creating a sketch on the top plane, press the N key to view normal to this, and the P key to hide all of the planes. Sketch a circle about the origin and set the dimension to the bottom outer diameter variable. Now, inside of this circle, use the C hotkey to select the circle drawing tool and sketch two more that are dimensioned using the inner diameter of the bottom variable and the other circle dimension it to the metal thickness distance from the inner diameter circle. Now select the extrude feature and extrude the outermost circle to the thickness of the metal specified by the variable T. We now need to do the same but for the inner circle to make up the vertical component of the base, but by extruding by the thickness of the metal plus 0.75 inches. Because this part requires welding, we need to bevel the upper edge so that our welds will penetrate. Use the fillet feature to do this. Make sure to set the feature to asymmetric and set the values to 0.03 and 0.25 inches. Then fillet the remaining edges symmetrically. The final feature of the base is now to create the mounting holes. Start by sketching on the top surface on the outer lip of the base a point and setting that on the vertical with the origin. Then sketch a vertical line and drag the point to the midpoint of that line. We are now going to use this point and circular pattern it four times about the origin. Now select the hole feature and use the points that we just sketched to remove material for quarter inch fasteners. We've now completed the base, so it's time to move on to using Onshape's new feature, the Sheet Metal Cone Tool. Start by creating a horizontal construction line on the front plane. Set its length to the bottom inner diameter divided by 2, minus the thickness of the metal. Make this line coincident with the inner diameter. Next, define the height of the cone by sketching a vertical construction line and setting its length to 7.5 inches. Then sketch a line at an angle starting from the horizontal construction line, connecting it to the top of the vertical line. Finally, dimension this angled line to be at 8 degrees from vertical. Use the Revolve feature to revolve the angled line around the vertical line. Choose one direction in the drop-down and set the angle to 359.5 degrees. This slight gap ensures that the sheet metal part will properly unfold later. Now, start a new sketch on the front plane. Draw two concentric circles. Set the outer circle to match the bottom outer diameter and the inner circle to be offset inward by the thickness of the metal. To position the circles correctly, select the outer circle and make it tangent to the split edge of the conical surface. Then, dimension the center of the circle to be 7 inches from the base. Extrude this circular sketch by 3.5 inches. 
We'll now use the surface to split the extrusion. Use the split feature, selecting the extruded cylinder as the part to split and the conical surface as the tool. Be sure to check Keep Tools and keep only the portion of the extrusion that lies outside the conical surface. Now for the exciting part, the new sheet metal tool. Select sheet metal model from the toolbar and convert the conical surface into a conic sheet metal part. Set the thickness to match your metal and make sure the conversion direction is outward. At this point, the circular extrusion is intersecting our sheet metal cone. To resolve this, use the Boolean feature and subtract the intersecting extrusion from the sheet metal part. With that, the cone is complete. Now let's move on to the final part, designing the top. Create a plane offset at 8.25 inches from the base. Then start a new sketch on this plane. Now we need to make three concentric circles. The outer circle should use the upper outer diameter. The second circle should match the bottom inner diameter. The third circle should be offset inward by the thickness of the metal. Extrude the outermost circle by the metal thickness. And extrude the innermost circle by the metal thickness plus 0.75 inches. And just like that, we finished our dust remover. Let's touch up the appearance of this part and get it looking showroom ready. Start by highlighting all of the parts and click on the Edit Appearance button. From here, we will choose to turn our dust remover gray to resemble a metallic finish. With that, our model looks the part. As a final step, let's make sure the flat sheet metal view is properly generated. To do this, open the Sheet Metal Context tool. You should see the flattened version of the part, complete with the cutout for the air inlet. Thanks for watching. This project really showcases how powerful and intuitive Onshape is. From advanced sheet metal tools to real time modeling in the cloud, it makes designing complex parts like this easy and efficient. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out more Onshape content and happy designing.